That will today nearly 7,000 flights all across the Northeast from New Jersey to Maine have been canceled. All canceled. Bradley Interna International Airport closed to air traffic at 7 o'clock tonight, leaving some folks stranded. News 8's Bob Wilson caught up with passengers tonight who are going nowhere. He's live outside Bradley in the elements tonight. Bob? Actually, we're just, uh, yeah, across the street from Bradley International Airport at a hotel. And we're on the strip where all the hotels are, and they are filled. They are very scarce. It's hard to find rooms out here, and people have booked them up. They all have a story of how they can't get out, and they're scared to go back home because of the large amount of snow on the way. So people at Bradley just keeping their fingers crossed, hoping this storm blows through and they can get out of town. Every once in a while, the wind would kick up, and you would kind of not be able to see the runway at all. Wind to drive snow across the empty tarmac at Bradley International Airport. There are no planes, but plenty of stranded passengers. More than 6,000 flights canceled just in New England alone. Taylor Ketchin was on her way home to North Carolina. Now the earliest flight out is Wednesday. I'm staying in a hotel and riding out the storm. <laughs> That's happening. <laughs> Three feet. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> the board is lit up red, and there is only one flight left at the gate. Text me when you go. A mother puts her 18-year-old daughter on the plane to go back to school in Washington, D.C., and that was two hours ago. The plane was boarded, but the pilot is stuck in the snow on his way to the airport. All right, call me when you think you're leaving, when the pilot's there. Yes, I'm going to stay until I know you're going. So just shortly after 7 o'clock, the gates came down. The airport was officially closed. However, they still had that one flight out on the tarmac waiting to take off. While they were waiting for their pilot, the plows were out plowing off the runways, and they've also been keeping the access roads clear so that once the flights start to land again, here at Bradley, they'll be ready. The plows push back the snow. The pilot does make it to the airport, and a lone plane taxis out into the snowy night. There's a gap in the storm, enough visibility for the plane to make it into the air. The last successful flight on a bank of monitors reading canceled. It's just windy conditions, so so we'll see. I'm sure they wouldn't take off unless it's safe. And her flight did land safely. Now, here's something to consider. We're hearing from almost all the passengers. Wednesday will be the day that they can fly out. So all day tomorrow, they're going to be in the hotel. Another night tomorrow night, and then Wednesday, First come, first serve. Try to book ahead, book early, and get a flight out as soon as you can. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live at Windsor Locks, News 8.